do with that what you will hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to another video happy sunday i am going to film edit and upload this today so happy sunday i hope you've had a wonderful weekend today we are going to be talking about some books that you should pick up if you want to start reading these are all romance recommendations i read majority romance books so that is what i'm going to be giving you recommendations for today the book community has skyrocketed it is thriving ever since lockdown happened in 2020 so you might see all your friends reading books um, your co-workers reading books and you're like hmm, I'd love to get into reading but I don't know where to start I'm gonna give you a couple places that you could start I'm really excited for this video I have like 12 or 13 different books that you could look into and they all kind of range in different subgenres of romance different like levels and stuff there's a lot going on over here so we are going to get right into it I'm gonna go ahead and say if you have never read a book and you're just now getting into reading one I recommend going and watching my bookish 101 video it has a lot of terms and different things that can be very helpful for you in the book community I definitely recommend watching that I also definitely recommend looking up trigger warnings for any of these books you should be able to just google the title plus trigger warnings and there are definitely different websites that have that so trigger warnings for any of these books a lot of these books are 18 plus i will let you know if they are ya young adult which means they are not 18 plus but most of these books recommendations are going to be 18 plus a lot of them are going to have on screen spice or smut which means they're on screen sexual encounters i don't know how else to say that number one if you love disney like i do very very much and you want to read a romance book the frying print by lauren asher this is a romance it is based in basically a theme park that is disneyland it is called dreamland this is a first book in a trilogy and the third book comes out at the end of the month but this would be a great place to start if you love Disney, if you love the parks. I think you would really enjoy this. Absolutely incredible read. If you're wanting to read something that does not have sexual encounters, then let me introduce you to my two favorite closed door romance authors. This is How to Kiss Your Best Friend by Jenny Proctor. And then this is The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I love both of these authors so much. They write adult contemporary romance, but it has no spice. This is what we call closed door romance. So everything happens behind closed doors. You're not going to see any of it written down on a page other than like kissing. So, How to Kiss Your Best Friend is a best friends to lovers trope, and this is also best friends to lovers. So, both of these are incredible. I love these so much. This is a sports romance. He is a football player. She is a ballerina. This takes place in North Carolina, kind of up near the Asheville area. Also, very, very cute. I love both of these books so much. So, if The Spice is not your jam, definitely check out both of these authors. Specifically, these two books are my favorite from either of them. Sticking with the sports romance, we have The Deal by L. Kennedy. This one is extremely popular across the book community. This is the first sports romance I read. It is a hockey romance. It is so cute, so good. It is spicy. This is the first in a series called the Off Campus series. It is so good. Each book follows a different couple. There are four of them and then there's a fifth like epilogue of all of them, like where they are now. So if you enjoy sports, if you're a sports girly like me, then, or a sports guy, I'm, guys can read romance novels as well. If you love sports like I do, then definitely check this out. Another incredible hockey romance is Change on the Flat by Maren Moore. I love this book so much. This is the first in her Totally Pucked series. Same deal with this one. It's each book follows a different couple within this hockey team and I love this book so much. So both of these are incredible sports romances. Both of them are 
spicy so no that going into it something that is not spicy but so good i only have three of the four but this is the heart stopper series this is a lgbtq romance series but it is a graphic novel so if you want something quick and cute to read i definitely recommend these they are really easy fast reads they're little graphic novels there is a tv show on netflix based off these season one of the tv show is books one and two i don't have book one with me um and then i think they just wrapped season two filming which i'm guessing is going to either be just three or three and four i'm not sure the heart supper series is incredible if you like reading comic books or anything like that i think you would really enjoy these like i said this is an lgbtq romance it is ya so there is no like spice in it it is very sweet and an incredible read that i think anyone would love so definitely check out the heartstopper series next we have love in other words by christina lauren this is one of my favorite books i have ever read i love this book so much it is a romance there is some spice in it i don't think there was heavy heavy spice in this book but I honestly can't, I don't think it was very bad. This follows two different timelines. So every other chapter is in a different timeline. So one is like previously and then one is right now. This is childhood best friends. They slowly fall in love and then something happens between the two of them and they don't talk for 10 years. And then she sees him in like a cafe. So this book was absolutely phenomenal. It is a tearjerker. There is definite trigger warnings for this book. Like I said, look up trigger warnings for all of my books. Heartstopper has heavy trigger warnings. This has heavy trigger warnings. But this was beautiful. And I think that a lot of you guys would really, really love it. Next, we have Love Light Farms. If you are someone who loves a Christmas Hallmark movie, read Love Light Farms. This is a girl and she owns a Christmas tree farm and this is her best friend Luca and they have to fake date. They have to pretend they're dating for a influencer who is coming to their farm to see if they will win a contest and I love this. I love this so much. This was so good. There is spice in this just so you know and, but I love this book with my whole heart. I read it at the end of 2021. It is still one of my favorite books. I will continuously recommend this book and all of BK Borson's books. She had, this is the first in a series. There are two more after this. So if you love this one, there is more to come. It is a Christmas adjacent book, but I wouldn't say it's a Christmas book. You could definitely read this anytime and I think you will really enjoy it. So definitely check out the Love Light Farms by Miss BK Borison. If you and every other person in like 2007, 2008, I don't even remember when those movies came out, read Twilight, then do I have something to introduce you to? This is Crave by Tracy Wolf. This is like Twilight meets Harry Potter. It is so good. It is this girl and she is having to move to Alaska to live with her uncle. Her parents tragically died in a car accident. So she has to move to this really rural town in Alaska. It, her uncle is the dean of a huge private school. So she's now going to school with all these kids she doesn't know. The only person she knows is her uncle and her cousin. Things kind of escalate from there. So it's very Harry Potter where they're going to the school and then it's very Twilight because vampires. So this is YA. This is so freaking good. I loved this book so much. There are five books in this series currently, but don't let that intimidate you because this was an incredible read. I adore this book. Okay, and then if you also read in like 2015, 2015, 2016, when did those movies come out? 2014, 15, 16, when the Fifty Shades of Grey movies come out. If you watched Fifty Shades, if you read Fifty Shades of Grey, then you're gonna like these spicy books. Then I think too that you will very much like is Priest and Sinner. Now these have a religious tie in both of them. So just be aware of that. If you are a extremely religious person, you might not like these. Priest is a 
priest who falls in love with a girl and if you know priests can't get married or anything like that this is very spicy very dirty um and then this is his brother who falls in love with a girl who is trying to become a nun do with that what you will and then we have a court of thorns and roses this is a fantasy so if you like fantasy-esque stuff if you like like game of thrones or outlander or lord of the rings that kind of vibe then you might like a court of thorns and roses this is the first in a series it is an incredible book the first part is kind of slow it is a lot of world building you're having to learn what the rules of this world are and what is going on and who everybody is so the beginning is slow the last 200 pages literally grip you and have you so obsessed and then book two is phenomenal so i definitely think if you like that kind of thing if that is your vibe a quarter of thorns and roses this is a fantasy does have romance in it so i think you would absolutely love this and then everyone always asks me kristen what colleen hoover book should i read first the answer is hopeless I don't have my physical copy but hopeless is my favorite colleen hoover book it is the first colleen hoover book i read a lot of people say to start with it starts with us i personally think start with hopeless it is so good the story is so gripping and you are like trying to figure out what is going on it's absolutely phenomenal definite trigger warnings for that book definite trigger warnings for any colleen hoover book ever but definitely so good um another one if you want a ya is heartbones this does have spice it like borderlines the ya in my opinion but heartbones is a ya book it is very good it is twist and turns you do not see some stuff coming absolutely insane storyline but definite trigger warnings for this one as well so colleen hoover i love colleen hoover I will die on the hill that Colleen Hoover is an incredible writer. So definitely check out Hopeless and check out Heartbones. Um, so the last book that I'm going to talk to you about. Oh man. is Archer's Voice. This book makes me cry every time I talk about it on this channel. I tear up every time I talk about it. This book is so emotional. If you want a good cry, if you want something that is going to make you literally sob this book is for you this book is absolutely incredible i there's heavy 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 trigger warnings with this book um, i don't really want to read the back to you because i feel like the back can give a lot away in this book i feel like with a lot of books it does some books it it gives you just enough to make you want to be like whoa what does that mean what is that this i feel like gives a lot away but this follows Brie and she's kind of running away from something that happened in her life. So she moves to this really small town and she runs into this guy named Archer. Well, Archer is like the town outcast. He doesn't speak to anyone. He is completely nonverbal. So he's kind of been by himself for a long time and hasn't been able to communicate with anyone. Well, Brie knows sign language and so does Archer. So they slowly start like forming a friendship and he has like someone to talk to, which is just like, oh my God. He finally has to, like someone to communicate with in this town of all these people who look at him like he's the weirdo because something happened to him. And he, oh my God, he gets so emotional. <laughs> but all the people in this town look at him like he's weird because something happened to him and he like literally can't speak. So no one took the time to learn how to speak to him. But Brie shows up and then she speaks to him. It's just so sweet and sad. Ugh. Oh my god. Anyway, read Archer's Voice. I will recommend this book until the day I die. I love this book so much. Those are just some of the books that I think that you should read if you're wanting to get into reading. These are some of my favorites. Some ones that I think could tie into something that you've liked before in your life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. I would really appreciate it and make sure to hit the bell notification so that you don't miss an upload. In the comments down below, please 
put what the first book you read when you got back into reading is because I feel like a lot of us got back into reading 2020 and 2021 maybe in 2022 so please put down below what book got you back into reading I would love to see all the books that you guys have read and then everyone in the comments can kind of look at each other's and see what everyone else just in case it wasn't on this list um, it'll be a good place to see even more recommendations. If you are interested in Kindle books, if you don't want physical copy books, I have an entire video on Kindle and Kindle Unlimited, which is through Amazon and how that works. And if a Kindle is worth it, I have an entire video on it. I will link it down below. I think it is very helpful and it has like recommendations of Kindle books that I think are fantastic. I'm probably going to make an updated Kindle Unlimited Rex sometime in the next like two or three months thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it make sure to follow me on all of my social medias i will leave them they are always linked down in the description along with my book club with page we are currently reading maggie moves on by lucy score and we have you have until I think February 2nd is final discussion. So definitely have some time if you would like to join us while reading. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.